Hey everybody, this is Craig Vagnani from the Sacramento Jazz Education Foundation. We're going to continue our ear training and we get to do melodies now. A wise person once told me that intervals are the hardest part of melodic dictation. The skips are harder than the diatonic scale tones. That's why we tackled them first. So by now, you have practiced. You can hear just about any intervalic relationship that someone can throw at you. So we're ready to listen and write melodies. You'll need some blank manuscript paper too. Music should be legible enough and correct so someone else can read it. Here are the basic steps that you want to follow. First, divide your lines into four equal parts. Put in your key signature and time signature. Make sure your sharps and flats are in order. You know, when you see those on a staff, you'll see that they're in the same order that we studied them in when we did the circle of fifths. Note that the stems go down for notes on the middle line and anything above that. That's about 90% of the time. Accidentals go before the note on the left side. And if the notes are a second apart, offset them like this. All right. For our first dictation, we're going to go back to the first five notes of the C major scale. I'll play five different one major melodies, C through G, with small skips and no accidentals. You'll hear a reference pitch, sing it, and then you'll hear the measure. You'll also hear a metronome. Pause frequently and replay as much as you need to. Also, you can write in bass clef if you want to and then transpose it. It's not a bad idea for you to know both clefs. I recommend that you sit at a keyboard to try to match what you hear with what you see. Um, the visual distance in the stair steps can really help your ears hear. Okay, you got your staff paper and pencil? Here we go with set one, number one. Okay, I hope you did well with that one. Here's set one, number two. Here's set one, number three. Here's set one, number four. Here's set one, number five. Okay, here are the answers to set one. Okay, as we move into set two, we're still going to stay with one major, but we're going to expand to the octave. So C to C. We're going to have some larger skips, obviously, and still no accidentals. So we're just going to expand into the octave. Here is set two, number one. Here's set two, number two. Here's set two, number three. Here's set two, number four. And here's set two, number five. Here are the answers to set two.
Okay, great. Now we're going to move on to set number three. We're still going to be with one measure, still within the octave. We're going to have some skips, no accidentals. But in this case, you're going to hear the reference pitch. But this time, the reference pitch is not going to be the same as the starting pitch. The starting pitches will differ. So you'll have to hear the reference pitch and then think of your pop-up menu, look at the keyboard and see the notes that are in front of you and see how the C octave lays out and then try to pinpoint the starting pitch that the melody starts on. Okay, here's set three, number one. Here's set three, number two. This is set three, number three. Here's set three, number four. And here's set three, number five. Here are the answers to set three. I hope that was interesting and fun for you. We're going to go to Ear Training Melodies Part 2 and pick up with Set 4 of our Ear Training Majors. So this is Craig Fagnani signing off for the Sacramento Jazz Education Foundation. Thanks for listening.